imagine you're out on a diving expedition and it's now time to rejoin the crew above surface. You look for your partner and you begin your ascent. So today Video Fit Solutions is going to explore what it would be like to be left out in the open ocean and forgotten. This is the true story that inspired the movie Open Water. Thomas Joseph Lonigan and Eileen Cassidy Lonigan were a married American couple who were unintentionally abandoned in the Coral Sea off of Australia's northeast coast on January 25th, 1998. They were traveling on a group scuba diving trip on a charter boat called the Outer Edge. The couple's absences were not noted by the boat crew until two days later on the 27th of January and while search efforts resulted in the discovery of personal effects, presumed to be those of the Lonigans, they did not lead to their discovery. Tom and Elaine Lonigan were both graduates of Louisiana State University and they were married in Jefferson, Texas on June 24, 1988. On January 25, 1998, the Lonigans were scuba diving with a group at St. Crispin's Reef in Australia's Great Barrier Reef. The boat transporting the group to the dive site departed before the Lonigans returned from the water. None of the vessel's crew or passengers noticed the two had not come back aboard. At the time of the incident, the couple had recently computed a two-year tour duty with the Peace Corps at Funafuti, a toll in the small South Pacific island nation of Tuvalu, and were repeating that work in Fiji. The disappearance of Tom and Elaine Lonigan sparked many a controversy, some even sparking controversy that tiger sharks may have taken the couple. Huge tiger sharks are known to frequent the area in the Great Barrier Reefs where they disappeared. However, multiple items were found from the couple that did not show indicative signs of shark attack. And quite the contrary, some of the items were actually intact, sparking some to believe that the couple had faked their own deaths. These rumors sparked the family of Elaine to comment by stating that the media had only pulled negative things from the couple's diaries, prompting everyone to believe that they had committed suicide in which they firmly denied that they believed this, and especially in light of the fact that neither of their insurance policies nor bank accounts were ever touched. During the subsequent investigation, the coroner dismissed suggestions that the Lonigans had either committed suicide or faked their own disappearances. In fact, the owner of the ship was formally charged. Jeffrey Ian Nearn, skipper of the dive boat, was charged with the unlawful killing of the couple. Once the owner went to trial, he was actually acquitted. However, the damage had already been done. He lost his business, all of his belongings, and even his father lost belongings trying to defend him during the trial. Eileen's father, John Haynes, later said that he suspects the couple ultimately became dehydrated and disoriented and in the end succumbed to drowning or sharks. During the inquest on the deaths, experts speculated that based on the state of the gear recovered, the couple had not likely experienced an animal attack, but rather succumbed to delirium resulting from dehydration, which caused them to voluntarily remove their diving outfits. Without the buoyancy provided by their gear, experts testified that the couple would have been unable to tread water for long and would have ultimately soon drowned. In closing, were Tom and Elaine Lonigan preyed upon by sharks? Or did they succumb to the elements, became delirious, and simply drowned? We may never know. Rest in peace to Tom and Elaine Lonigan, and may their families have peace. Please like, share, and subscribe to Where in the World is Frank and Gina on YouTube. And please consider joining our Super Chat. 
We'd appreciate the support. God bless.